Hey guys, welcome to yet another interesting video based on data mining. So uh, today in this video, we'll be seeing what is concept hierarchy generation in data mining as a data reduction step. So uh, well, this is a small part of uh, data discretization and concept hierarchy generation. So it goes in that way. So I've just considered this a separate part to deal with. So it's nothing but a very easy concept. So like we, uh, you have different kinds of categorical data. You have some kind of spatial data, discrete data and distributed data. So the categorical data are uh, usually the discrete data having finite number of distinct values uh, with no ordering among them. So it's like it's in a random fashion, no particular order or no particular ascending or descending fashion in that. So uh, the examples mostly include all the geographic locations which you have other uh, job categories or uh, the item types which you have. So all these kind of things are uh, the categorical uh, data. So for example, in the real life, uh, if you take the age, so it's like middle age, teenage, adult and old age. So it's like in that way. So it's a categorical fashion or in the voters list and also it's like in a categorical fashion. So there is no particular order, but then too, it's like in a random fashion. So what concept hierarchy generation as a step to dimensional reduction it takes is that uh, there are some methods laid for uh, concept hierarchy generation for handling the categorical data and so we have three steps in this so the very first is specification of partial ordering of attributes explicitly at the schema level either by users or experts now just forget about the title it's uh, written in that way let's come to what this actually does so consider a relational database you have or a dimensional location of data warehouse now that data warehouse may contain the following group of attributes, some random kind of data like street, city, province, state, country, continent, etc. Now what this kind of uh, specification of partial ordering does is a hierarchy can be defined by specifying the total ordering among these attributes at the schema level such as you have city, then outside the city, uh, sorry, uh, first you have the street, then outside street you have city, then you have province or the state or then you have country and then continent or then uh, you can consider it as a globe like the entire world is there so from that particular world you have one particular continent in that one particular continent you have one country then in that country you have particular state then province then city then street so it's like there is a, a hierarchy generated from that particular random kind of data so there that partial ordering comes into picture so that's what it basically means next you have specification of a portion of a hierarchy by explicitly the data grouping so here in this you explicitly group the data into different categories so this is essentially the manual definition of a portion of concept hierarchy there is no particular default uh, definition but what it does user uh, actually creates it in a particular random manner so we explicitly specify groupings for that for small portions of intermediate data levels for example if we have uh, in this case like we have discussed for province and country form a hierarchy at the schema level a user could define some intermediate levels manually such as uh, like say for this as a case of some province Alberta, Shakotswan and Manitoba and all so it's like uh, some kind of province or kind of streets of uh, priorities in uh, Canada so it's priorities of Canada and then you have uh, this kind of locations or provinces which are there so it's uh, actually classified by user so British Columbia and priorities of Canada it belongs to Western Canada so it's like you actually group into particular sets so it's like a set of that particular category so in this you manually define those particular categories and you do not have the automatic generation but in order to have an automatic generation you have specification of a set of attributes but not of their partial ordering in this you had the partial ordering but in this you don't have any partial ordering so what you do a user may specify a set of number of attributes forming a concept hierarchy but omit explicitly the uh, partial ordering for that so what it does the system has to automatically generate or auto suggestions like for example if you type some kind of uh, word files or in microsoft word is like uh, some kind of spell errors or grammar errors might occur at certain times so what it does it automatically suggests or how the sentence frame or it should be structured in that way so the system then try to automatically generate that attribute ordering so as to construct a meaningful concept hierarchy so uh, this is all about this thing that is specification of a set of attributes but not of their partial ordering so well that's about the small concept hierarchy generation as a part of data reduction strategy in 
data mining so hope you guys enjoyed this video found you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video